Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Correlation is an important topic to get straight in your head because it shows up a lot on standardized tests and high school exit exams. But you guys, it's really not as hard as it sounds. Correlation relates to slope. If you know what slope is, it's the same idea. Correlation is also tied to trend lines or lines of best fit, if that makes sense to you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Correlation describes the relationship between two variables. So in this first graph, we have what's called a positive correlation because as one variable gets bigger, the other variable also gets bigger. If you know about slopes, you might see that's a positive slope line. Easy. Next one, same idea. Negative correlation. It's like a negative slope. As one variable gets larger, like this guy gets larger, this one's getting smaller. As one of them gets larger, the other one gets smaller. That's called a negative correlation. Lastly, sometimes we have what we call no correlation. That's when the dots are just out there in the scatter plot with no real trend you can see. They're like randomly thrown out there. Sometimes variables are not correlated at all. Things like how tall you are and what grades you get in school. Those things are totally unrelated to each other because people who get good grades aren't always tall and people who are tall aren't always getting good grades. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, correlation has to do with how two variables are related to each other. Think of slope. It might be positive, negative, or no correlation at all. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had... No, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be... Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. 